I know you understand this and feel the intrinsic and incredible emotion. You have just pulled over your heavy, warm, warm sweater and longing to avoid. Now you haven't had a passionate kissing session or anything, but you've got to go to Kenton to go in and eight other people from school. And you practically slept together, you're sleeping bag right next to his. And you woke in the night to watch him as he slept, but you couldn't see anything because it was dark, so you just lay there and listen to the reading and wonder if your heart might burst. The sweater has that slightly goat like smell that all teenage boys possess, and that smell will utterly transfer to all your other clothes. If you get to keep it for a few days, you can sleep with it, but don't let your mom see because she'll say, was that the old thing, and who's up along besides the trash man? So you can keep it under the covers with you. You can kind of lie it beside you, wrap it around your waist, or touch it on your legs, or whatever, but that's your business. <laughs> now, if the sweater has, like, reindeer on it, or it's a funny color like yellow, I'm sorry, you can't get away with a sweater like that. Look for brown, or gray, or blue. Anything other than that, and you know you're dealing with someone who's different. And different is not what you're looking for. If you're looking for those teenage alpine ski chiseled features and that sort of blank look which has to be thought or at least a notion of someone's home. If you're looking for the boy of your dreams who is the same boy in the dreams of all of your friends. Now the sweater isn't going to fit you, of course. You have to kind of roll up the sleeves in a jaunty way that says this is the sweater belonging to a boy and the boy is a genuine hunk, a hunk of burning love and this is not just something you got from your brother and your father. Monday, wear the sweater to school. Be calm, look cute. <laughs> Don't tell the dream ahead of all the places to you would share when you get older. Just be yourself. The best, cutest, quietest version of yourself. Definitely when it comes. He looks at you, and he looks away, and then he walks away, and the smell of the sweater hits you again, suddenly like H sent Gloriola, and you get a note passed to you by a girl in history that says he needs his sweater back, he forgot to put it on in tent on Saturday, and he's been looking for it. And you don't have to die of humiliation. You are a strong person, and this is a learning experience. You can still hold your head up high as you run through the classroom, tearing the stinking sweater from your body. And you look at that sweater carefully, and you realize that love made you temporarily blind. You got a secret now, honey, and though you would never sink as low as him, you could blab it all over the school if you wanted. The label in that sweater said 100% 